What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Big Cloud here back again. You guys already know the drill. It is Friday. RGT Podcast is live, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you guys tune in. We have a lot to go over. And definitely one of the topics is definitely the game that is the topic of today's video. And that is The Last of Us Part 2. So this game came out at midnight. I played it from midnight to four o'clock in the morning it is seven o'clock that's right big cloud gaming did not sleep last night i've been up this whole time <laughs> and so this is not a review this is more of a first impressions on the game and how i feel about the uh the game so far based on what i experienced and i want to be as uh you know honest as forthcoming as i can possibly be for this video obviously we have a lot more to talk about so we're going to go into that on the on the podcast but anyway let's just get into this man First party talent, people. It is definitely important, and you guys see why with The Last of Us Part 2. This game has so much traction on social media, it's incredible. I've seen uh, Twitch, you know, I've seen a lot of big Twitch channels playing this game. And keep in mind, these Twitch channels are all about Call of Duty type, you know what I'm saying? But they are streaming this game. This game was like, it, this game was trending everywhere, you know, in terms of being played. But aside from the accolades let's get into this i know again it's about the experience the last of us part two is a mixed bag i'm gonna be honest with you it is a mixed bag of emotions when you play this game from start and to wherever the hell you stop you're gonna feel a certain way you're gonna feel certain ways going through the game you're gonna feel a sense of dread a sense of anger you're gonna feel a sense of just fear uneasiness i'm talking the the emotions were going everywhere when i was playing through this game the new clickers are adding a new level of fear and intensity to this game like unlike on un, uh, unlike any other really the first clickers again the first one you guys remember they were kind of just um they weren't that you know they weren't that uh, scary after you played the game a few times you know you know how to take them out you know how to deal with them the newer ones when i tell you these damn clickers are uneasy like unease putting so to speak they really are they put you on like they put you on at um at ease right now they really do and i haven't gotten to the other clickers so i mostly ran into runners and just clickers so far through my four hours of playing the game but again after these four hours let me tell you man i have never played a game that made me angry and all these you know all these crazy emotions i never played a game that put me through so many emotions and yet i still wanted to play the game and continue to play it was kind of like a drug like i couldn't put the controller down i still want to get back on the game right now as me doing this video but i'm like i gotta go to sleep you know it's that intense and neil Druckmann hit the nail around right the head he said you know even when the leaks was going around for the characters and whatnot right he said that you know experiencing this game is five times different than actually just reading it and let me tell you he is on the money he is not kidding you have to experience this game to truly understand why everybody is talking about this game there are a lot of people who are talking about this game right now on social media that didn't get no sleep last night like myself everybody's talking about this because that's how big this game is right now and how like how everybody feels about this game after this long wait it is that good i highly recommend you play it it's really really great i enjoy what i played i don't want to spoil anything for you guys but let me tell you it is definitely worth a mention it's worth a buy it's definitely worth a play at least a playthrough definitely go ahead and do that you're not going to be disappointed with the last of us part two you know and another thing about this too, this is running on PS4 and PS4 Pro, and yet this damn game looks next gen. I'm talking the difference between this game and the current uh, the current version of The Last of Us, which is the remastered, is night and day. I'm talking the graphics look top notch. The new character models are on point, and overall, the overall attention, like in terms of like the 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 tone. It's more like it's more intense than the first one. The first one, you kind of had like this lighthearted tone, uh, tone, right? Amidst all the chaos type moments, but you had this lighthearted tone. And Last of Us Part Two, that is non-existent. There is like, there's no sense of chill, really. It feels like in this game, you always have this fear of, of turning around and looking behind your back type of thing. That's what it feels like. That's the tone they set for this game. And let me tell you, it it really does suit this game really, really well. Hell, there was a point in this game that reminded me of Days Gone. I'm not gonna spoil. 
spoil it, but it reminded me of Days Gone in terms of just how like adrenaline pumping it was. You know what I'm saying? And it makes me look at Days Gone, you know, in the sequel when that eventually gets announced. And it makes me look at that and go, damn. I wonder just how well they're going to update those character models and how well those character models gonna, are going to move compared to these guys and all that. Because let me tell you, man, PS5, you already know Naughty Dog is going to step it up even further. With all the ease of development, all the extra tools they got to work with, you know they're going to set that up even fur, uh, further. When it comes to you know the other studios, all this is right here, all The Last of Us 2 is right now, is a standard that needs to be met. And that's why I love even further. That's raising the standards and giving more. It feels like they're in competition in th and within their own studios, right? To outdo one another. That's how you get better looking games. You keep raising the bar and someone else raises it and you keep going from there and you just keep getting these amazing experiences. Last of Us Part 2 right now is that freaking amazing. I am ecstatic. I can't wait to continue to play this. For those of you interested in seeing me play in this, I already did the first part. Um, it's, in the, it's, it's in the description below. It's, in the, it's on the Twitch channel. Go ahead and go check that out. Make sure you give me a follow there. We're going to be dropping. Um, we're going to be jumping right back on that after the RGD podcast. Okay. So just want to throw that out there. I can't wait to get back on here and finish playing uh, some more of this. This game is freaking awesome. I love it. I love every mo moment of it. And um, yeah, I just want to get that out there, man. I got I to gotta get some sleep. I got to make sure I'm well rested for this show. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick one. Nothing over the top or anything of that nature. For those of you wondering if I spoiled anything, no spoilers. The gameplay you guys are seeing here is from a trailer that we saw at State of Play. So don't worry. Nothing was spoiled. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later on. All right. Until next time, this is Big Cloud Gaming. You guys be blessed. Y'all be easy. I'm signing out. Later.